My my biggest role that I spend most of my time doing is exploring the new technologies that are out there and trying to make sure that we are always on the cutting edge of the material that's out there to make things better. And so I spend a lot of my day surfing the World Wide Web um, on Twitter, on Facebook, on a lot of the different social networking tools out there and try and figure out what sort of tools are coming down the pipes that will make cyber school better. So in the last two years, that's what I've been spending most of my time with. Uh, before that, I spent most of my time helping the teachers get up to speed with our courses and putting our courses at the level that um, will always be as technologically advanced as they can possibly be. I found that at, at the beginning, what we tried to do is we tried to create courses that were just a, um, a digital representation of what we do in our face-to-face -face schools. And since then, what we've tried to do is go past that to integrate the World Wide Web a little bit more and some of the technological tools that we have out there. A cyber school that just recreates what we do in the face-to-face -face classroom is missing a lot of the cool materials that are available to you on the World Wide Web and all the resources that are out there. In our face-to-face -face classrooms, what we tend to do is, our, as a teacher, we use our textbook and our brain as the two resources that we use and a cyber school class should use the internet, the teacher and obviously the digital textbook or the world or the learning management course that we, has been written. So 